Hey guys, it's me, your favorite moose. Um, so it is currently turn it off so I get copyrighted. It is currently Thursday night. I am studying for a neurology test. And um it's time to give myself my allergy shots, and I thought I would record that for you, but basically I have to I don't have to. What's on my face? Crusty, musty, ugh, dusty. Mm mm. What is this? I need to wash my hair. My hair get dirty. My face start doing the mouse. Anywho, so basically, I get allergy shots because I got buku environmental allergies. Plus a fish allergy. Not shellfish because I would kill myself, but a fish allergy. But basically I started getting these injections like two years ago. And it just builds your body, your body, dumb. It builds your body's immunity to like what you're allergic to. So I would go like every week or every two weeks to get the injections. The max, the longest you can go is two weeks or you have to start all over, blah, blah, blah. So I finally reached the point to where I can give myself the shots. And I'm just so happy because I don't be feeling like driving there. It's not far from my house, but I just don't be having the energy to put on clothes, drive there, get shots, and deal. The shots don't hurt. That's not the problem. It's just the aspect of getting there. So I'm going to share with y'all all the stuff that I'm allergic to that they tested me for. Literally everything on this paper... I tested positive two except one, two, three, five, six, seven, seven. Seven out of 40. Seven out of 40, I'm not allergic to. But the other 33, highly allergic. So here we go. Here's the list. Because I have the paper. I'm going to show you. I'm going to just show y'all, okay? This is the paper right here. And it's just like, this is the package they gave me when I first got there. Like, all the stuff. And, like, what is what. Just telling me the details. Yes. All of this. Everything. So, this one I'm allergic to. I'm allergic to freaking mites. Aspergillus. Cladosporum. Epicoxum. And most of these are like trees and grasses and stuff like that. Baby, I thought this was a real roach. I was about to throw this whole folder. Oh my God. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know how to say that. Fusarium, penicillin, cats, dog. Got a cat and a dog at the house. They hate me. Um, mice, cockroaches. That's why they, That's why him and his homeboy are chilling right there. Um, Cockleburr. English plantain, lamb's quarter, marsh elder, or how do you say that? Mixed ragweed, mugwort, pigweed, sorrel, Johnson, Timothy. That's a grass, and I know that because the rabbit be eating Timothy grass things. So yeah, we have a rabbit if I didn't mention it. Um, bald cypress tree, our state tree here in Louisiana. I'm a nerd, so I know that kind of stupid stuff. Um, cedar, red, cottonwood, elm, maple, mesquite, mulberry, oak, and campus is full of oak trees. And when I tell you, I used to be walking around crying, like literally, eyes crying because I'm allergic to it. And look, look how big, 20. That's how much I'm allergic to it. And then I'm always around the trees. So then you got pecan. Privet, I guess that's how you say that. And sycamore. And girl. Girl, boy, girl, boy. I like the diet. Like the diet. But anywho, I went last week and I did the one on one teaching of how to give myself the shots. And at first, I was so scared because I'm like, I'm about to hurt myself. Because usually when I go, they give me a shot. Two shots in my right arm because I have to get three shots since I'm so highly allergic to everything. Usually, if you're not that bad, you only get one. I have to get three. Three. Luckily, I'm not a person who's afraid of needles and stuff like that. So, 
I cope. One in my upper arm, one in my lower arm, and then one on my left arm. Just one. So, um, I went last Wednesday and she taught me how to do it. And like I said, I was scared. Like I thought I was about to stab myself in a vein and kill myself. Like about to go in a shock. Just, that's what's going through my mind. So she taught me how to do it, telling me everything. And it didn't hurt. I didn't, I didn't feel a thing. Like I did that. And I wish I would have thought to vlog when I went. I completely forgot about y'all because I've been in school. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But I've been in school, so my mind wasn't on vlogging. It was on getting in there and getting that. So that's same my mind. But shout out to Sierra and Lentz because she taught me and she's been giving me my shots since I started there. But she taught me how to do it. And it's very, very easy. Um, I have a pack of syringes. It's not syringes, pack of needles, two packs of needles. I'm gonna show y'all in a second. And then the the vial with like the the injection stuff, I have to keep that in the refrigerator. But I have to take it out 15 minutes prior to giving myself the shot or the cold um the cold injection going into my body is going to hurt. It's gonna hurt and it's not gonna feel like when I did it myself at the allergy doctor. So Probably gonna go let that sit out, then I'm gonna give myself the shots. If I don't do it tonight, I'm gonna do it in the morning because, like I said, I'm studying for my test. It's tomorrow at 11. So, if I come back in a different gear with different lighting, it's because it's the next day and I just died from studying. So, um, any whom, that's what I'm gonna do. And I feel like it was something else I was missing to tell y'all. Oh! I have an EpiPen. It looks like this. Hold on. They get a custom made EpiPen for you and your allergies. So like, not just environmental, but like, if you got food allergies too, food allergies, and you wanna add like those food allergies to your EpiPen, they'll do that. So the first one I had, it didn't count my fish allergy. But the second one, when I redid it, cause it expired, it counted my fish allergy. Now, this is like electronic. Oh shucks. This is electronic and it was free 99, sweet tea. Free 99. The standard freaking EpiPen you have to pay for. But the electronic fancy one is free. Free. So I'm gonna just show y'all the EpiPen and it talks. Having an allergic emergency, pull red safety guard down and off of AviQ. If not ready to use, replace the outer case. Do not replace red safety guard once removed. So let me if put having this back. an allergic emergency. So I've never had to use this ever. And every time you go get your shots, you have to have this. Otherwise, you don't get your shot. Because they don't know how your body finna react to the injection. So you have to have this. Have to have. <laughs> oh, and when you get the box of these, because a company ships it to you. When you get the box, it comes with one extra one of these and a trainer. And it's basically just one of these without like um the epinephrine in it and it doesn't have a needle and you just basically practice on how to stick yourself so you take it out and it talks just like this one and you can press it to your leg and nothing comes out it's just like literally training you how to use that thing so that's what that is that's what that is and um yeah what that is so yeah i doubt i'm doing that tonight but i'm tired and it is 1041 and I know nothing for my test. Okay, I'm back. So, about to give myself the shots. So, what I have with me is some beautiful rubbing alcohol. Because you have to sanitize. Got some cotton rounds. And I got my vials with my stuff in them. So, they look like this. And anywho, she labeled them for me 
and this one goes in my lower right leg okay and they all look like this, this one goes in my upper right and this one goes in my left by itself anyways like i told y'all you had to sit it out for 15 minutes it's been sitting out for like an hour just because i just went ahead to the shower put my clothes on my leg well i could have sworn i had the instructions that she gave me but i i basically remember it i just didn't want to mess that up and you know hurt myself but i'm good oh and this is what it looked like the thing it came with 25 syringes God, so we're gonna need three syringes today as I told you I have um to get three shots so we're using three syringes now this is the dilute for the shots so you have to do this plus the um what you call the stuff uh allergy shot mix stuff the injection stuff you have to do that and that so you do 0.1 of the dilutant and then the 0.5 of the injection so you should have a total excuse me of 0.6 so i'm going to set this up to where this is the lower i'm gonna set this up to where i don't get them mixed up and confused and she gave me two extra of these i don't know why it's not like i'm gonna be using these up like candy but whatever so put a needle for this one needle for this one let me lift this up so y'all can see my thunder thighs i'm gonna take a cotton round and you have to sterilize the tops to the um bottles because you know people hands be pushing on it and this is a very sterile process okay honey so i'm just put my erica hurl on my cotton bed so i'm gonna do this at the top because the thing goes right in there and i'm gonna do that on the left one too and the right ones i'm gonna just go ahead and get them all out of the way so I'm gonna do all of the lids and sterilize them. They all sterilize, okay? So now, the fun part. Let me show you these legs. She told me to do it is, if I'm giving myself one shot, I basically find the midpoint between my thigh, which is here. But since I'm giving upper and lower in this leg, I'm gonna do one like about here and then the lower about here. So like have a midpoint right there, you know? So, I'm gonna take the cap off look how sharp that is look how sharp that is look okay there we go she told me how to do it her way so she puts air in it 0.1 milliliters of air then she takes it and she puts it in the valve she turns it upside down so you can make sure you get some then she pushes it back now we're going to take it and inject point one okay and then you go you know to get the oral bubbles out let me hold on, go ahead sterilize my leg before i forget before i forget so that's clinked or whatever now we doing upper right first so let me do this again so you're gonna put it in here Tilt it upside down because it's a little low. Turn it so I can see it. And then we're going to fill it all the way up to 0.6 milliliters. So, there we go. We got 0.6. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Y'all see that needle? So, I told y'all I was going to go about here. So, I'm going to take my needle. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it here. And it's going in. And then she always told me, pull it just in case you in a vein. And if you see blood go up, you in a vein. But I'm pulling it. Ain't no blood going up. So we're going to slowly inject the shot. 
You don't want to do full speed because that'd be going to hurt. So you do it slowly. Voila! Done. This one's done. Ooh. Make sure you put your cap back on so you don't stab yourself or use the wrong needle. And I'm going to set this one to the side. That's a little blood. Clean that up. We go out. Now we go on to our lower rod. Get these dance. If you try to forcefully push all of it in there at once, that's what she said, um, it's gonna hurt. That is literally what she said. My right leg burning a little bit, which means my leg about to start itching from the injection. So it's about to start itching in a few, and I can tell it's feeling a little bumpy too. So for that, I have some cortisone cream that I put on it. And I'm gonna put that on now because I already know these about to probably swell up and itch because it did it last week. And my left leg was fine just because only one injection going in there. But since two going in my right, she was done for. Sis was tired, okay? So I'm just putting these back in the little baggie and um, I'm putting them back in the refrigerator because that's where they need to be kept. And of course, Throwing away my syringes. Do not put the syringes straight in the trash can. Serial killers. We have to treasure our waste workers and stuff like that because we don't stab them with no needle while they picking up no bag. So we're gonna put it in like an empty cold drink bottle or something, a Clorox bottle, something like that. I forgot one of the things. We're gonna put it in one of those. Um just so nobody gets stuck by the needle. Even though the cap is on, the cap could come off at any time. But that was it. Thank y'all for watching. It didn't hurt at all, I promise. And I don't even be sticking people. Like, I really do this. I do this. So if you need your allergy shots applied, call me. Call me. But no, seriously. It don't hurt or nothing. It's just itching because I'm allergic to the stuff that I'm injecting to myself. But other than that, bled a little bit. Totally fine. Totally fine. Because when I first learned, I freaked out. But I does this now. Does this. You can't tell me nothing. Period. Whoa. Look how ashy I am. Okay, that's enough. So, bye.